Hi Gemini, welcome back in. You're watching The Sacred Sun Tarot. This is going to be a reading for love, October 2020. Let's see what's happening in your love life. Overall energies. Reverse the roles if needed, switch the cases. As you know, energies are fluid. This can resonate backwards. You can also watch it for any other placement. Moon rising or Venus, right? Overall energy. Two of Swords, Gemini Crossroads. I'm listening here, Gemini, that you're not able to make a decision in your love life, Ace of Wands, that there's definitely kind of some new passion around you. The problem is that I pick up here, Gemini, that different people are giving you different opinions about something, right? And I don't know, intentionally or unintentionally, you're getting uh, stuck into the opinions of the people. It's like, you know, you have all the kind of thoughts going on in your mind. This, these can be your personal thoughts as well, right? Decision is difficult here. It's dusty. It's airy around you. And from nowhere, literally nowhere, I see some kind of new passion coming in. Wow, we have some Eight of Pentacles, Page of Cups energy. I do feel some kind of new passion is definitely around you. But right now, you're not ready for it. Because you have so many thoughts in your mind. You have so many opinions in your surroundings as well as in your mind that you're not able to make a choice here. All right. Let's see where is this confusion? Where is this confusion coming from? Hierophant can be a Taurus. For some of you, this can be a commitment. You're already committed with someone, marriage or a Taurus individual here. For some of you, I'm picking up that somebody around you is giving you mixed signals and you're very confused. Or this can be that the signals are very clear, but you are confused in your mind. What is this confusion about? Ten of Cups. All right, so I'm getting the picture now. Can be a, a confusion between a commitment and a soul connection. Ten of Cups and Hierophant, Two of Swords. Indecision between a commitment and a marriage. For some of you, this can be a Taurus individual impacting your relationship, saying something that you are getting confused and you're getting blindfolded. I see a family, happy home relationship, and at the same time, some kind of uh, traditional. This can be law or something related to government as well. All right, what is this heart of energy, please? Hanged man. Piscean energy. What else? Seven of Wands in reversed. Letting go of control for some of you. Three of Cups. I'm listening here, Gemini, that somebody in your environment is intentionally keeping you stuck. And uh, they're just not saying anything. There's no resistance as such. And at the same time, there's no answer as well. Three of Cups energy, confusion, confusion about reconciliation, confusion about being together. It's that they're not even coming up for reconciliation, neither they're coming up nor they are actually resisting it. What is this Ten of Cups energy? I see another connection here. This can be something related to society, somebody who is authoritative can be coming from the part of society. Let's see what is this Ten of Cups first. What is this Ten of Cups? Eight of Wands. Hmm. And what is this communication about? Six of Wands. Beautiful. Somebody can be a fire sign around you and somebody this... Somebody is popular, going good in, your, in the career. They're doing good here. Very nice. What is the Six of Wands? Ten of Pentacles reversed. All right. Hmm. Situation is quite messy right now. I see you stuck in a point where you're talking to somebody new. This can be a new soulmate. But right now I'm listening that this person is not ready for a commitment. And the reason is that probably they are doing good in their career. They're independent. They're getting a lot of fame and attention. Or for some of you, this person is just looking for attention. Your attention, right? And that's the reason why they are not ready for commitment. Because they're just looking for attention. They like to spend time with you, but they're not open for commitment. 
Knight of Swords. You might be getting some information about this. On the other hand, this person is stuck. They want to have commitment with you. I think this person is already in a marriage or a commitment here. This can be your spouse or your partner with whom uh, things are really confusing. I see two options here. Two people in your surroundings. What is this confusion going? Where is this confusion going? Four of Swords, you need a nap, Gemini. You need to take a break because the situation is confusing. This love situation is really confusing and you need a nap. You need to take a break. Strength. Strength energy here. Four of Swords, strength. What else? High Priestess. All right. All the cards are showing me that you need some peace in your mind. You need some peace of mind, Aquarius, Gemini. Because right now the situation is tensed. There's a lot of conflict. There's a lot of confusion between these two parties. One is a soulmate, another is a traditional commitment or some kind of contract. Right? The soulmate, this, this soulmate energy, beautiful energy, a lot of attention, a lot of, a lot of uh, good communication I'm listening, a lot of compassion in the environment. But this person is not ready for commitment, Ten of Pentacles reversed. And the other person here, probably you're committed to or you are in a contract with. Some kind of uh, societal obligation is there. The situation is stuck because this person is not answering. I'm listening that this person is hanging freely in the situation. You know, they want to maintain status quo. They don't want uh, the situation to actually change. They don't want to ascend. They don't want to get back. They don't want the situation to move forward and neither they're putting in any effort to come out of this conflict, mental conflict. And all the situation is causing some kind of mental conflict. You're having two options here. It's time to pull back, Gemini. When, when the situation is too clumsy, it's important that you pull back from that situation because you need some inner work. You need to do some inner work, some healing and resting. High Priestess with the Four of Swords. Your intuition is going to guide you, but only you try to listen to it, right? So take a step back from the situation and try to calm yourself. I see strong resistance from your side right now. You're actually not moving forward in the situation, neither with the option A nor with the option B. You're just quiet. You're trying to, you're trying to turn inwards and listen to your intuition. And I think that's the most important thing to do right now. Turn inwards and listen to your intuition. Let me see what, what else. What else is happening here? Three of Swords. Clumsy situation. Okay, Temperance. Wow. Your personal energies are actually... Alright. Seven of Swords. Okay, Gemini. Uh, it's a point of caution here. I think both the options are not right for you. And somewhere you can sense it that both the options or whatever options right now are available in love around you. They all are not reliable right the one who is appearing to be like a soulmate probably this person is about attention they like your attention they like the communication they have with you those moments of soul connection and then you are like getting carried away in communication with this you feel soft you feel emotional connect with this person but in reality they are not here for commitment ten of swords energy in reality they're not here for commitment and if there's another person in the picture is continuously causing some kind of emotional loss to you continuously three of cups three of swords i i pick up some kind of uh, hanging energy for this person neither they're ready to move in with you completely nor they are leaving you out completely this, this person has some kind of on and off energy right they just want to stay the way it is they just don't want any progress in this situation and this is causing a lot of mental conflict here a lot of mental conflict. Both the situations are not going to work out here, uh, Gemini, I'm listening, and something new will be coming towards you. But before that, I see Temperance, Four of Swords, High Priestess, Strength. So you need to take a step back. You need to get back from the situation. Especially in this case, I think you should be listening to your intuition. Your intuition is guiding you somewhere at heart that somebody in the situation is just about the attention you give to them, the concern you give to them, the care you give to them. It's not about marriage. It's not about commitment. They're just not ready for it. Seven of Swords energy. Why is this person uh, 
not committing what they, what do they want from gemini then six of swords reversed you know gemini i'm picking up for some of you that this person is moving on from a weight of situation in their life they're coming from a point of some kind of heartbreak or it was past right it was past energy and uh, there were multiple failed situations in their life and when they came into your energies you brought some kind of emotional fulfillment to them the communication with you probably was very nice or this can be simply that you gave a lot of attention to this person and i'm listening for some of you that this person was a broken soul and uh, you brought some kind of healing for them and that's why they want to stay in your energies but they don't want to commit right six of swords this situation i don't see the potential of moving forward on the other hand i see another person seven of swords energy i'm picking up it's for this person right they're appearing to be your ten of cups but they're actually not it's tough i know i know it's tough and ten 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 three tens here and this may not be your reading right i know you guys don't like negative readings it's actually not a negative reading it's coming out as a warning for some of you it's not uh, i think somewhere at heart if this is your reading you are able to understand this kind of energy to have source energy your intuition is strongly guiding you here you are aware of the fact that this person is not emotionally available for you and even if they are they're just not ready for any kind of commitment on the other hand this person let's see what they want from you wow seven of swords all right it was for them <laughs> they have their own secrets they they have their own secrets they have their own can you see the crow energy here and here i'm listening for some of you that this is that past person who wants to keep you stuck with them seven of swords energy they are they are having their own bunch of secrets and uh, this person is not reliable even if you try to trust them you try to talk to them you try to come to a conclusion or some kind of reconciliation they will be in and out and instead of actually giving any kind of uh, solution to the problem they're just going to aggravate the problem i don't see it actually it, both these situations are not moving forward let's see what is this temperance anything else coming for gemini ace of cups in reverse four of wands and eight of cups all right magician magician again it's one so i see some kind of singular energy here time to work alone gemini this is the time you work alone for some time because love energies are clumsy and you need to work out of something here it is possible for some of you that you have some kind of marriage or contract with this person the, uh, the earlier person and on the same and on the other hand i see ace of cups reversed so the new love is also not available right now this person is not available right now so this week i see that i feel that you should be working on your own stability and ace of cups you need to, i'm picking up for some of you that you need to take a step back avoid both the situations and ground yourself spend some time in grounding yourself gemini because both the situations are quite non rewarding right now what else all right friendship nurture the bond of friendship within your relationship and your love life will dramatically improve things needed to be more open i feel some kind of communication some kind of friendship is lacking in your connections right now you may not always understand why certain things happen however there's always a higher purpose to the events in your life through the turmoil a blessing will soon be revealed so there's some kind of blessing coming to your way and i'm picking up here that all this turmoil right now in your love life it's just because something fresh is about to happen and right now both the energies are not reliable both the options are not reliable and what you need to what you need to wait for is something new and fresh about to come in your love life give thanks for the blessings of love soon to come your way know that you deserve to be and have have all that your heart truly desires so it's time for a break gemini and i think the love situation is a bit clumsy right now but i think it is going to improve after this week it is going to be improving very nicely right now both the situations are not rewarding so 
it's better you don't unnecessarily invest into anything take some time off and focus on self-healing and pleasure right some kind of uh, self-recreation go out spend some time alone and focus on your healing let's have another advice for you one single advice for gemini twin flame card really wants to come out can be for some of you that once you walk away from the non-fulfilling situations your twin flame might arrive at the scenes this can be a blessing that is coming towards you for some of you a message for you i'm thinking of you this very moment that your love fills me with light i love you and we have the power here you instinctively know what's right for you and you have the power to say no or walk away at any time so yes I'm strongly picking up that, uh, Gemini, you need to walk away from something which is toxic in your surroundings and it is only causing some kind of heartache and loss for you. There's definitely a beautiful love coming towards you I'm picking up. It's very fresh and it is about to enter the scenes. I do feel that energetically that new blessing is around you and it is coming into the picture. Right now it's not visible to you. I see you sitting in a situation where you're blindfolded and you can't see anything happening right now and there's too much confusion in the picture right now. Wait for the right time and I feel that this new beautiful blessing is about to arrive. At the same time, your, in, your intuition is actually telling you from which situation you need to move away from. So take the requisite steps. Don't hold back. Take the requisite steps. So it's better you take some time off and focus on self-healing. So this was your reading for the week. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.